This is a fun problem. It's asking us about an aqueous solution of strontium hydroxide. Strontium hydroxide is one of those uh, alkaline earth metals that has two hydroxide equivalents per strontium. When that's sort of an aqueous solution, because it's a strong base, it will dissociate virtually 100% to give me these products. It wants me now to calculate the uh, hydroxide ion concentration, and it wants me to calculate the pH for this system. If I start out with 1.5 times 10 to the negative third moles per liter of strontium hydroxide. Can we determine this? Yeah, I think we can. If I have 1.5 times 10 to the negative third moles of strontium hydroxide in one liter, how many moles of hydroxide per liter is that going to end up giving me? What I'll do is I'll use dimensional analysis. I can write down stoichiometrically, you can see that for every one mole of strontium hydroxide, one mole of strontium hydroxide, you've got two moles of hydroxide coming out of it. I throw that into my calculator or my brain, and you'll see that if my solution starts out as 1.5 times 10 negative third molar strontium hydroxide, it ends up being 3 times 10 to the negative 3 moles per liter or molar of hydroxide product. That is going to be the concentration of my hydroxide. So that is the answer to that question. Now, what about the pH? How do I figure that out? Well, I told you in an earlier video that pOH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of hydroxide. That means that pOH is equal to the negative log of whatever of uh, this number, which is 3 times 10 to the negative third molar. I throw that into my calculator, pOH equals, ends up equaling 2.52. Why in the world would I care about pOH? The reason is because it's asking me pH, and you might remember an equation I taught you elsewhere that says, sorry, that pH plus pOH are equal to 14. I know what pOH is. Can I just use algebra to determine what pH is? Absolutely. So go ahead and throw 2.52 for pOH, solve for pH, and then you'll be done.